I'm Kate Hans. I'm a scientist and I study the trees in our towns and cities. And this is a conker. If it's planted in the ground, it will grow into a horse chestnut tree, like this. What I'm interested in is how long it will take this little conker to grow into a tree this size. 30 years? 50 years? And this tree hasn't even stopped growing yet. How long will it take to reach its maximum size? Maybe hundreds of years. But why am I interested in how quickly urban trees grow? This is because as a tree grows, it actually does something very beneficial for us humans. As it grows, the tree will suck carbon dioxide, or CO2, out of the air and use the carbon to grow its roots and branches, locking that carbon up and helping to mitigate climate change. Trees provide us with other benefits as well. One of these is to help filter out harmful pollutants from the air. Bigger trees with more leaf area are able to capture more of these pollutants, helping make the air cleaner for us to breathe. And that's just some of the benefits which urban trees provide us with. So this little conquer has the potential to do us a lot of good. But to do that for us, we need to first look after it. We need to plant it somewhere where it can grow into a big, healthy tree and survive and thrive for decades. I want to help us do this by finding out how quickly our urban trees are growing and what might either be helping or hindering their growth. The more we know about urban tree growth, the better we can predict the benefits these trees provide us with. And this helps us to plan and manage our urban trees so that they, in turn, can look after us. To do this, I set up an experiment using public trees across Milton Keynes, which you can take part in. To measure tree growth, we use a simple bit of kit, but its fancy scientific name is dendrometer. This dendrometer band is made up of simply a bit of metal tape and a spring, which allows the band to expand as the tree grows. Imagine this is a tree with a growth band. As the tree grows, this arrow will move along the measuring tape, allowing us to track tree growth. So I've put one of these dendrometer bands on nearly a hundred trees across Milton Keynes. They're all on different kinds of urban areas, from commercial shopping areas to residential neighbourhoods to some of Milton Keynes parks, to see if trees grow at different rates at these different areas. I'll be visiting these trees to monitor their growth, but this is where I could really use your help too. If you're in Milton Keynes, you can help us monitor these growth bands from spring next year. The more frequently the bands are measured, the better we'll be able to track tree growth and understand what's affecting it. You can find out more about the project by following the link on the tree tag. This will take you to the project website, which has a map of all the trees in the study and more information about the project. I'll also be speaking at Soapbox Science Milton Keynes online event, so come along then to find out more and ask any questions.